Hi, I'm David from Renton Road and Sebastro Pub. Today we're gonna feed you yellowtail seasoned with its own sperm. The sperm, even though it sounds kind of scary when you say sperm, is actually a lot like liver. So it's a really nice way to enhance other parts of the fish. And if it had a different name, it would probably sell a little better, but definitely something fun to play with. And during the right time of year, you'll, you'll have your fish come in with these uh, interesting cuts and you might as well use them. What we're gonna do is roast it at around 350 for about 20 minutes to half an hour. You can also do this on a smoker if you wanna get a little bit of smoky flavor. Sperm and smoke go really well together. Then we're gonna blend it with a little bit of sushi vinegar and it'll make a really nice creamy smooth mousse. Today we're gonna introduce smoke with a smoking gun while we're blending it. Don't ever feel like you have to think inside the box of just hickory or just apple wood. Hickory is a little bit aggressive for anything fish, but sperm is somewhere between fish and liver. Apple wood definitely works pretty good with fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use apple wood and we're gonna spike it with just a little bit of hickory. And that way we kinda have a custom smoke blend right there. So be very careful when handling the sperm. This hot sperm, if it pops, it's like napalm. It'll burn you like nothing else. We're gonna combine some roasted onions and garlic, a little bit of sushi vinegar for acid, salt, pepper, and then we're gonna use the smoke gun to shoot smoke into the blender while we're mixing it. Next, we're gonna whip in the cream and a little bit of oil. Hold on, Sam. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. We're just gonna do a nice drizzle. Don't gotta to worry too much about being too messy because we'll have fish over the top of it. Oh, look how awesome that is. Silver skin is definitely not a crime. If you have the knife skills to leave that silver skin on, you want to show it off. Same with having nice red bloodline. Sometimes the bitterness of the blood balances the sweetness of a fish really nicely. And if you've got fish that's so fresh that blood is just glaringly red, you want to flaunt it. Japanese green onion. Now normally these onions would be a little bit aggressive just for raw fish. The good thing is, is local yellowtail definitely has a little more flavor that can stand up to this other stuff. One thing I love about different types of fish eggs is that it's kind of like a finishing salt with texture and flavor. These are flying fish eggs and they have a really cool meatiness about them. And there's definitely the residual salt from the cure in there. On that plate, you got everything you need to make a baby fish. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and give us ideas for what you'd like to see next. <laughs>